Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh and this is Josh. Hi. And today we're talking about the blanket. The blanket. Plane. You don't even know what's under here, do you? I don't. I bet you have a clue though. Yeah. No, you, I don't. The Facebook picture? We only give you a little glimpse of it. Was it red? It was red. Did it, it have somebody's name on it? Yeah. Somebody that's near and dear to me? Yeah, and it's that's not Bixler. That's not you? Right. Yeah. Can I take the blanket off? Take it off. Okay. There you go, brother. O-M-G. That means, oh my goodness gracious. The J. Scott. The J. Scott. This is great. From Ed O'Biran. And, and Ed, I'm so sorry if I mispronounced your name, brother. He probably but did. Now, Ed is the man behind Experimental Airlines. And if you haven't seen him, he has a really great presence on uh, flighttest.com. Amazing articles. He is also the designer of the Arm and Wing. And the Arm and Wing is a big inspiration behind our swappable airfoil wings as well too but he takes it next step further with a finish of tape and just beautiful workmanship i, I think ed just like you feel that there are too many bixlers flying through the air oh i absolutely feel and, that way and he also knows your awesomeness and your love of weapons and carnage and he combined it all into one airplane what's a this gift, gift pack for you nerf bullets nerf bullets there's a a paratrooper in there. Now this plane has an amazing amount of engineering to it. Yes. It's incredible. It's so well it thought should. out. Ed, Ed, you are an incredible builder and the graphics are awesome too. Yeah. They're, they're made by Roman Sirbryakov. I mean, I'm so sorry if I mispronounced your last name. That's a crazy last name. You probably did. Yeah, but amazing graphics and, and the logo is spot on too. Why don't you go ahead and wiggle some stuff around here. There's flaps. Two different positions. Yep. Offered. And there's also, he, he went through the lane to tell me how much need to be reflexed on the ailerons, uh, how much need to be dialed in on the flaps. I mean, Ed, you went the extra mile, brother. Thank you so much. This is for the bomb drop? That's for the bomb drop. <laughs> Just pooped a GI Joe, it man. It did. Obviously, he has your armament in there. Yeah. And, and wiggle the rudder here. I got to show you, this is not like a direct hinge line rudder. Look at that. It's got a steerable tailwheel. Steerable tailwheel. Nice. Isn't that beautiful? And it's it's not in line, so he actually has a linkage going down to that. Yeah. This thing's amazing. Can we go can we go fly now? Well we got some more things to go over. Look at the attachable rudder, brother. Uh-huh. Yeah. This guy used uh, gift cards, plastic gift cards for reinforcement for uh, plates. Um, Where are the gift cards too? I have no clue, but I'm sure they're used up. Oh. So don't worry about okay. that. The ingenuity, the materials are all basic common materials you get everywhere, but the end product is just beautiful. I love it. Yeah, it's Can awesome. I go fly it? I think this is the very first time we're actually doing a review on something somebody made us and sent us. Oh yeah? Yeah, oh. like like a scratch build, a homemade design. Revolutionary. So, the wingspan for you guys out there, because I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people wanting to build the J. Scott because they absolutely love you and <laughs> the carnage that this thing goes. 45 inch wingspan and a length of 32 inches. Uh, the receiver, obviously, it is probably like a six channel receiver. Uh, he doesn't actually specify that, but you got flaps on this thing. You got a bomb bay. Look at all the Bixlers I've shot down. Uh, it's swinging 11-4 prop. It's uh, a Hobby Wing 40 amp ESC. It has a, a UBEC. Can we go fly it? Uh, recommended battery. It's 2200 three cell. Mm -hmm. All right. We have one of those, right? We have a Let's lot of those. And, go and the it. payload. Listen to this. Uh -huh. 12 ounce aluminum cans full. That's hardcore. Can somebody hand me an aluminum can of pop full? There? Not the Mountain Dew. I want the Mountain Dew. Make a Coke. Yeah, that's good. Parachutes, Nerf darts, water balloons, or reconnaissance cameras. So look, you got your very own FPV platform, brother. Are you serious? You're, I'm serious. Look, we can this put is a, a camera plane right that there. I can keep for the rest of my my days. I know, and you know, as a matter of fact, you're going to be test flying this thing too. I better be. Yeah, because this is the J. Scott. Now, never mind the fact that Josh made in the Bixler and gave the Bixler review. I'm not allowed to touch this because this is the J. Scott, and it's all about him today. And I'm not bitter. You ready? There's a couple more things we should talk about. Let's talk about Nerf darts. That's good, that's good. There's a lot of them. There's 30 of them in this bag here. That's a very interesting factoid. You're in my way. Paratroopers can be dropped. You ready? Oh, I thought you were gonna hit me for a second. Yeah, let's just I go. will. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. This is a change, huh? Yeah. I'm holding the airplane of my you brother here. We're not really brothers. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You, you ready to do this? Yes. All right, man, I'll put it's you into the freezing out of here. Now, this is a stalled aircraft, so you should be able to do good on these rocks here. There you go, I'm aiming right for the trees. Okay. Excellent, man. Now this is Josh Scott's very first maiden of a plane that we've never flown before. So we have not flown this, we have not trimmed it or done Ooh, anything. It's got power. It does have power. Dude, you're doing fantastic. Ah, shoot. That's okay, because now we get to see how durable it is. <laughs> how is it? Good. I bent the motor mount and... Oh, the motor mount just bends by hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're good there. That looks actually... Yeah, it actually took it. Now this thing is made with a two-piece wing, so... Here, slide that back together. 
and then Ooh, look at that. we just pop off. It's all right. That yeah. looks great. It took oh. it really well. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> so we just took a little bit of tape off the bottom there. It's not that good. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put the prop right on my chin. Okay, I'll put it on my chin. Great, Josh. What did it feel weird to say under? Yeah, it's just got a lot of. Uh, there's a little rock to it, but well, we I just need exactly to give you more. the calmest day to fly either. Yeah. All right. I just need to get it up off the ground some more. Please Are these supposed to cross? No. Do not cross. Is that what it says? Sorry. Yeah, Sorry. in very big letters. This is how people like it. Awesome. It's got an adjustable motor mount. Yeah, and I think that's brilliant actually because it takes the hit. And, a little bit uh, left. Also, you can kind of tweak it a little bit. Yeah. Hold on. Let's make sure it's not rubbing. There. Okay, Josh Scott, check your crap. Rudder. Awesome. All awesome. right, looks good. We got the kinks worked out. Actually, it's my fault. No, no, you did good. And, and actually, this thing took a tremendous beating, and it still looks amazing. This is Thanks, pretty good. Ed. Yeah, thank you, Ed. Ready? Ready. Beautiful. You find the plane with your name on it, brother. That's pretty darn awesome. Yeah, don't, don't add pressure. And you're doing a great job. It looks like it has plenty of power. Oh yes, man, yeah, it does. You got lots of aileron control on this thing too. Yep. Almost too much. And you're even carrying a G.I. Joe guy right now. I am. That's pretty darn awesome. Can we pause a second, trim it? All right, chat here. <laughs> I love this it thing. It flies amazing. You were doing really good for when I picked up the controls. Yeah, it just, it had it the was elevator so was pegged. Okay, this is awesome. Got to give it back. Look at that flat turn. Chad loves the flat turns. He's like all about that. Chad, give it back. Okay, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. All right, we did a little bit of trimming for my friend Josh, and uh, that wasn't because of your lack of experience, but because we didn't maiden it and stuff. We wanted to see what it felt like. All right. And how's it feel now? Good. We just need a little bit of down trim in it. Now this does have an adjustable thrust angle. Uh, by the way, he mounted the motor, and I like it also because if you hit the ground, it'll bend and it won't destroy you your fuselage. You can bend it right back. You can bend it right on back, and you can also do a little bit of tweaks here and there, yeah. which is really good. Now, brother, you look like you're getting the hang of it now. Yeah, on the wide turns, you definitely want to put some uh, rudder into it so you, you get a you get a bit of a wing drop. Okay. When you uh, when you so turn co it, coordinate your turns a little bit. Yeah. And as far as the stall characteristics and everything, what do you think? Is it wanting to drop wing tips on its own or anything? Uh, not too bad. Good. Yeah, let's try it out. Pretty good. That's not bad at all. Nice and true. True blue. Yeah, it looks like or the more you're red. flying, the more you're getting used to yeah. it too. Now this is the first for Josh. It's the first time with an airplane with his name on it. Yes. Uh, first time for you to maiden an airplane where none of us have ever touched it or That's anything. Right. And first time for you to have a plane with your name on it while you're maiden it with a bomb drop. You just put all those things you already said together. I did, didn't I? I, was I don't just, know if that counts. I was just trying to hype it up a That's little bit fine. because this okay, is a I'll big day it. for I'll you, take brother. I'll take it, I'll take it, yeah. And Ed, from the bottom of our heart, we gotta thank you, man. Yeah, just, just thanks, Ed. Your love and also your, your articles and your, your videos are fantastic. Um, your techniques with uh, Dollar Tree foam board and uh, the, the tape is just incredible. And guys, if you haven't seen Experimental Airlines uh, videos, he has a wealth of knowledge. He has a lot of really great articles that are posted on our website and a lot of great uh, videos too. So you'll see his presence there. It's Experimental Airlines uh, and his name is Ed. And Ed, you didn't just put together a plane with my name on it. You actually uh, took time to consider what I would want to see in a plane. So thank you for that. Bomb drop being a major point. Yes. And a versatile bomb drop at that too. Yeah, and one that can take a hit. I'm sure you <laughs> thought of that. Cool. Should we uh, drop a G.I. Joe? I think you need to drop a G.I. Joe. Or poop a G.I. Joe? Now, now the over. wind's blowing, let's see. Poop a Joe? This way real hard, so yeah, oh. you may want to bring it that way. Okay. All right, ready? Uh-oh. Oh, we have a problem. We have a problem. Oh. <laughs> Got that, caught. That's something you couldn't plan on. <laughs> All right, you know what? The flight test, Every there, there's no routine episode, is there? No, no. not at all. Nothing it, ever goes as planned. It seems <laughs> that the uh, rubber band that holds the uh, bomb bay, the boom bay, the closed, boom. got caught on our uh, G.I. Joe's gun. 
and uh, he just deployed his chute too fast, <laughs> and it was it was messy. He took the whole ship down. He didn't want to jump out of the airplane. Ship, and that's what he said. He took the whole thing down, but it held up really well. Yeah, we got a busted prop, got a, and we just uh, need to bend the uh, motor yeah. mat back to place. Here's but, here's the cool thing though is is you did a great job. What was your flying experience? I loved it. You loved it. Yeah, I loved it. I think it was a perfect plan for me. And, and, and there's so many other features. He put flaps in this thing. We have the crate. We never got to drop the Coke can. We so. didn't, and I'm really looking forward to that. So we're gonna have to bring this back. Yeah. In an episode in the very near future, because yeah. I really want to. And the nice thing about that too is we can kind of you know mess around with flaps and stall characteristics. We never covered stall, which is do you know what stall is? Yeah. What is it? When it stalls. Well, no, stall. S T O L. Oh. Short no. takeoff or landing. Oh. Yeah, that's what you use with flaps. Cool. So we, we can cover that in the future. Yeah. All right. Well, Ed, thank you so much. I am honored to have a plane that's named after me. And Got great job. On it. Yeah, yeah, awesome yeah. job. And I love this thing can take a hit, and we're going to get it back together. And good job, and Roman. This. For the for the graphics. Yeah, good job, man. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. And thanks to you guys for sponsoring Flight Test, because you guys go into the Flight Test store, buying the speed build kits, t-shirts, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what keeps us going. Yes. So we'll see you guys next time. See you next time. Want a drink? Yeah, thank you. Sure.